my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate you on topics regarding your pet's health. So today we'll be discussing serotonin syndrome in dogs. This is a medical complication that can occur if your dog gets a hold of any antidepressant medications or even dietary supplements. So it's important to be aware of this possible risk if you have any of these medications in your home and how you can best keep your dog safe going forward. So serotonin syndrome in dogs is a drug-induced medical complication that occurs when serotonin levels within the body are extremely high. So serotonin actually plays a major role in many canine bodily functions. Serotonin plays a role in regulating body temperature, in regulating sleep patterns, it plays a role in different gastrointestinal functions, cardiovascular functions, and even respiratory functions. So when a dog does fall victim to serotonin syndrome, this means that they can begin to experience severe symptoms in all these different categories that relay to different body systems. While the symptoms of serotonin syndrome can of course vary from case to case, in my personal experience, the dogs that I have seen with this medical complication, their symptoms are often quite jarring. Uh, they're just so odd, and this is often why parents rush their dogs into the vet when they notice them. Some of the most common symptoms of serotonin syndrome in dogs include vomiting, diarrhea, hypersalivation, disorientation, wobbly gait, they may stumble and almost appear drunk. A typical abnormal stance of a dog with serotonin syndrome is almost an army crawl position where the dog is hunched over and attempting to walk that way. And the last few symptoms of serotonin syndrome involve tremors, seizures, and even coma in severe cases. The serotonin syndrome in dogs is a serious medical emergency for a few different reasons. Basically, the symptoms that can result from this complication can be life-threatening. For example, serotonin syndrome can cause hyperthermia in dogs, which is an elevated body temperature. And if a dog has an elevated body temperature for a long period, this can be extremely damaging to their organs. Another potential symptom um, are seizures. And if a dog is left to seize for long periods of time or repeated seizures, this can again be extremely damaging to their health. So this is why serotonin syndrome is seen as a serious medical emergency. The most common ways to treat serotonin syndrome in dogs involve helping the dog flush the medication from their body and then treating their symptoms as they come. For example, most veterinarians will suggest hospitalization in most cases. They will often put your dog on IV fluids, which can basically just help them flush the medication from their body faster and also support the kidney and liver in the process. They may prescribe medication for your dog's nausea. They may prescribe muscle relaxants for their muscle tremors. This could also help to sedate them a bit because a lot of these dogs are very agitated. And if your dog is having seizures or abnormal neurological behavior, your vet may need to get them started on seizure medication. With these treatment methods aside, hospitalization is the best option for serotonin syndrome in dogs just to have eyes on your dog at all times. These kiddos can decline rapidly when they're dealing with this medical complication, so it's best to have skilled eyes on your dog at all times. This will allow the veterinary staff to monitor their temperature, keep a close eye on their symptoms, whether they are worsening, monitor them for any abnormal neurological behavior, and this will allow them to jump in quickly if new symptoms develop. For a more in-depth review on serotonin syndrome in dogs, be sure to review the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.